Hi guys, this is a video on a piece of free software called Linux Multimedia Studio, or LMMS for short. Now this is a free alternative to Fruity Loops, which is a music production tool. This is basically a program that can allow you to make tunes for free. This is great. Now I don't have any expert experience with both Fruity Loops or LMMS, but I do have a very basic knowledge, enough to show you how to make a basic song, and it will all be good. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the program. So when you first start the program you may find the interface looks a little bit confusing. There's a lot of things that are happening inside the program. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the most important things inside the interface or the things that I've used to create the song and then you can do this for yourself. So at the top you can see we've got a bunch of the classic new open save icons. I'm going to ignore all of these for the time being. Now this here is the tempo. So you can see it's set at 130. By default I think it's set at 140. And you can just drag up and down if you need to depending on how fast or how slow you want the song. For the time being I'm having 130. I'm going to ignore this for the time being and you can see we've got a master volume slider so you can you know drag it up if you want it to be louder or quieter. We also have a master pitch so if you want it to be lower or higher this will apply to your entire song lower or higher go ahead and adjust the master pitch. Now underneath we have the song editor we also have a beat and bass line editor and we also have an FX mixer. Now I'm not going to talk about the FX mixer because that's more for things that are happening in real time such as DJing or adding specific effects on the fly. So we're not going to worry about that, we're just going to create a basic tune inside LMMS. So here we are inside the song editor. Now all the icons on the top that you need to know are the play button, the stop button, and the select button. Now this will select things that are in the workspace which I'll talk about in just a second. The play button will play the song and the stop button will stop the song from playing. Now on the left hand side you'll notice we have this icon here. You just simply click that and you can clone a specific track. Now these are all known as tracks. Very similar to something like Photoshop where you have a bunch of different layers to an image. So you have a background image, you have a foreground image. They can all be modified individually but they all make up an image on its own. So this is all the components that are making up the song. I hope that makes sense. Now you can see we've got these green lights here and some are black. Now this is basically, this column here is for muting certain tracks. Now the only tracks you need to worry about at the moment are the default preset and the beat and bass line. So these are actually both muted. If this was green then they'd actually play. Now just next to this you can see it says solo. So if you need to actually modify just one track and you don't want to listen to the rest of the song, you just press that button and it will basically play just this track. Okay, so we also have volume settings here, which you can turn up for the, each individual track, and also pan settings. Note that beat and bass line doesn't have this, that's because everything inside this beat and bass line is in the beat and bass line editor, which we'll talk about in just a second. So, back into the song editor, this is the workspace. Notice that we have these icons here, that means that it's actually going to loop the track in between those markers. You can place the markers with this icon here. So this is where all my song is going to play. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the song and you'll notice that nothing's actually coming out, you're not hearing anything. However, you can see a little light flashing. That is when basically the, tr uh, the instrument inside the track is playing. So it's playing audio now, however, because I've pressed that mute button, you can't hear anything. So notice these also has little dots here. Now this has actually been made by me inside something called the piano roll, which I'll go into just a second. So it's actually running through all the notes that I've played or I've set it to play in the piano roll. So let's go ahead and open up the piano roll. I'm going to double click and you can see this looks like a massive grid. It doesn't look very useful for t to anyone. Well, to ba explain it basically, on the left hand side you have the keyboard. Now if you actually press a button here or press one of these keys, it will play through the speakers. But again, because I've muted it, it won't play. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to unmute it so you guys can hear. So I'm just going to stop the song from playing so you don't hear the song. However, I'm just going to tick that so it's now unmuted and it's ready to play. Notice that this changed colour. So, I'm actually going to put my headphone to the speaker. I, I have to do this because I don't have stereo mix on Windows 7. It's not working. I've got an external sound card. So I'm just going to put the headphones up to the speaker. So when I click the C here, which is the note C, it plays can see, just click up. Now this isn't the only way you can play a note inside the piano roll. You can actually use your keyboard. So if I press Q, it plays the same note. W, E. So you can start making tunes, you know. So you can start making chords as well. 
so you can play you can press more than one key so basically your keyboard turns into a keyboard so this is all along the left hand side notice underneath it says about note volume you can change these individual notes that you've placed on the grid with this you can drag it up and down if you need specific ones to be louder now this is basically imagining that the song is playing through this way so it was going through the songs imagine it playing through this way so it's actually going to play it a little bit faster and it's going to go through the notes that I've put on here so at the third step inside the first beat or the you know what I mean uh, it will play this key so if I just go ahead and press the play button here you can see it's actually playing up here this is where you saw the flashing this is all the notes that I'm playing. It's very, very simple. So I'm just going to stop that for the time being. So that is all done inside the piano roll. You can just click anywhere and it will basically play the song. You can right click and it will get rid of that specific note. And again, it rolls through it as if you're playing a note on the keyboard. So that is the default preset. I'm going to go ahead and mute that again for the minute. Now I'm going to talk about the beat and bass line. Now this is basically very similar to this. Now I'm just going to go ahead and go over to the beat and bass line editor but now you'll see I have some extra things. So I have bass hard, I have clap for and I have kick and they're all using the same thing. They're all using that, using that uh, piano editor thing that I had where I put all the notes on and they're all going to play separate things. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, hang on a second, how do I get these instruments? So on the left hand side you've got a bunch of icons here. Now at the top you'll notice it has instrument plugins. Now you can actually go ahead and get one of these I had the free boy one, all you have to do is drag it, drag it into this area and there you see it's opened up a new one. To get rid of it again click this and you'll have removed this track and then you can click on this area and then right click open and piano roll or you can delete them if you want which I'm going to do and then you can go into the piano roll and start adding those tracks. So I'm going to delete this track for the time being because I don't need it and go back into this beat and bass line editor. Now notice that this hasn't got any sort of plugins here. So notice you've got all the names for all the plugins, blah blah blah, these all do different things, they emulate different instruments, but this doesn't have it. They actually have specific OGG files, which are actually music files. So go ahead and click the My Samples button and you'll find a bunch of different folders here. You can actually just drag these across. And notice as I click them, it actually plays what they actually sound like. So you can just drag them across and then go ahead into that piano editor and then add your specific things for the individual files. So there's a lot of things here, basses, bass loops, I've got drums which I've done, drum synth, effects, instruments, Latin. So I've gone ahead and just added some things in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this default preset again. Notice that it's actually using the Game Boy Color, that's why I chose it. I had to untick Channel 3 and Channel 4 and make the SRS all the way to the left hand side because it was generating extra sounds which I didn't need and it was adding some extra static in there so that's how I made the uh, thing that I have here. Oh also if you go to the, uh, I think it's the function, no, that's the FX, you can add an extra effect in which I've added a little bit of a reverb here where it basically sounds a little bit echoey so it sounds a little bit better than the standard one. So again if I play this again so you can hear that. Now those of you who don't are uh, probably thinking of what the tune is, it's from the Skype ringtone. So that's going to play. Now I'm going to activate these ones now. So I've got a drum kick and I'm going to unmute this track as well. There we go. Now that doesn't sound too good so we're going to add a clap in. Notice that these are all flashing as the notes are playing. So I'm going to go ahead and undo the bass as well. Notice that it's looping in between those markers. Yeah, so that is pretty much a very quick introduction to making a tune. Now you'll also see that there is a area here with a load of different sort of squares. I'll go ahead and stop the song so it's not distracting. Now you can actually just have it, if it's only four beats or four steps, you can just basically click these. So for example if you want to kick and then you want to go dum 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 dum, you just go click there, click there, click there 
graphic there but these are actually lasting longer than that so I actually had to put them in manually inside the piano roll now I hope this hasn't confused you now what happens once you've completed a song or you want to save the song just simply go to project and save if you want to export it as a song go ahead and go to export now this will only do it to a WAV file or an OGG file which is obviously the Linux thing as this is Linux Multimedia Studio even though we're running it on Windows and they've made a Windows version I think they shot themselves in the foot there with the name so I hope I've un um, made this understandable so if I just do a quick overview this is the tempo this is how fast you want the song this is the volume control make that higher or lower depending on how loud you want it the pitch that will change it if it's higher or lower this is the track area we've got mute we've got solo you can remove tracks with this button here we've got the volume and the pan here you can see that you can just click this area and it will add such as a sort of a loop or whatever you put in your piano roll and it'll start playing through that you can use the beat and bass line editor and then add that inside here by simply clicking as you can see just add it in and then you can delete it if you need to and then obviously you can add in all those extra in instruments by going to the my samples or the instrument plugins so hopefully I haven't confused you this is LMMS please let me know if you don't understand I hope I've explained it as basic as possible but it's very very basically how to do it and I'll provide you with the song just randomly at the end of the video that I created just so you can hear it instead of having to listen to it through my um, headset. So thanks for watching my video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.